And last week I mentioned that there are two categories. There's that which is naturally hidden or difficult to perceive, and there is that which is intentionally kept secret. Some things are better left unsaid. Most people have heard about the Jain tradition, and they see it to be quite an excellent thing. But what most people aren't aware of is that the Jains practice extreme austerity. They believe through the practice of fasting that sin is removed from their body. Most people these days are aware of the Hindu religious tradition. We've all heard of the Hindu practitioners who walk on hot coals. And likewise, there is the vegetarian festival, where people pierce their bodies and faces with swords. And it's not the sort of thing that the average, everyday, mundane person will be willing to accept. But this isn't something specific to Asian traditions. Most people will be aware of the American Baptist communities who allow themselves to be bitten by serpents. It is the case that behind these extreme practices, there is some logic or reasoning. Most people have heard this teaching on the spiritual path that there is no good or bad. When we hear of the practice of eating excrement, we can't imagine why on earth anybody would do that. When we hear these teachings that there is no good or bad, for us, it becomes a permission structure for engaging in negative conduct. What we don't do is think, great, there is no good or bad, I'm going to eat shit. Do you understand the point I'm making? 